Hello community, I hope you are doing good. In this discussion, we will see how to create a graph view and the pivot view using the Postgres view. And in case you missed previous discussion about how to create a Postgres view in the Odoo side, I mean the dynamic view as a read only purpose, especially for the reporting purpose, please check link is given in the description. And if you want to learn more about Odoo with different topics, you can visit the playlist and you can see here Odoo development playlist also available with different topics with real task cases. And apart from this, you can see here editor level tips and Python related tips also available. If you need any support related Odoo, you can visit the about page. In the about page, you can send your query to this email address. Apart from this, you will also get the source code from the GitHub. This is the open source library, right? And we have also social media different pages. So you can also make sure you can also follow those ones to get the, get the latest notification. And if you want to support this channel, please support this channel using three ways. Buy me coffee, PayPal and using this join button. So let's make to our main topic like how to create a pivot view or the chart view using the Postgres view. We already created the dynamic view module, right? Especially, we are not creating any kind of model. I mean the table in the Postgres side. This is actually a Postgres view we can use. And now, so let's say here we will see a few things. Let's say you have to add here some field, right? So and that is also possible. You can directly change either in this model or as a traditional way you can also inherit this model you can also add the specific field right and you can also inherit the init method so why we need to use the init method you can see here we use the auto underscore auto equal to false why we need to use false because right now we are creating a postgres view using the init method and for that we have to also import tools right so for the tools like what it does like we have this method like drop view if access so any postgres view is available i mean this postgres view available postgres view means this one if this is available you can drop it and we have a new select query here you can see the join query right so this join query will automatically execute here with the create or the replace view and the view name so this is what we last time learned like how to inherit this init method then how why we need to use this security file the csv file i mean the access rights and then we also use uh, created the tree view right tree view windows action and the menu and now you can see here in the school in the schools you can see the this menu dynamic student view and you can see here this is a read only list view and if you want to create a record you can't do anything here and you have to go to here in the student profile and try to create here a new student profile something like this and if you are going to again in schools dynamic school you can see total 8 record is available now this is the last record you can see here this one the demo school right and the student name is Sunny Leon so this is the dynamic view and you can also combine multiple models here based on your requirement you can also add if you still don't know how to do this one right and you need a more information so you can visit this add-ons uh, like this add-ons and you can just search this init method and you will get a lot of examples the real examples here and now today we will see some real test cases let's say i want to change something in the in this model right so let's say i want to add here a new field which is exists in the table either in the student table or the school profile so let's say here in the school profile so let's say here yeah so I, here I want to add this school student underscore sequence field right so simple I will copy this field 
and I will pass here right and I can use here the meaningful field name right and then after simple I will go to here in this query the row query and I will try to use like std dot student underscore SQ as student underscore SQ if your field I mean this field this model field and this model field is the same name right the same name that that is fine you you don't need to apply here as a alias name this one if you don't use that is fine also we will save like this and then after we will try to upgrade the module so let's say whatever you change here in the init file simple any small changes also like let's say you want to change something as the alias name or you want to upgrade or update your query right so you must have to upgrade the module so it will automatically drop the existing view and recreate the view all right so that is compulsory otherwise it won't be work so let's say i will try to upgrade this module like this minus u and the model name still if you don't know how to start restart or debug automated please check the editor level tips over there i will briefly uh, explain how to configure this odoo with the pycharm and i'm trying to upgrade the module here i'm going to in the front end side up uh, so here we have to also add a new field which is SEQ this one and this one plus I will see here the run map the log files everything seems okay let me restart one more time and upgrade the module I'm trying to upgrade the module now you can see here it added a new field the student sequence by default it's a zero right now so it displays a zero right so let's say I'm going to here in the student profile and let me add like this right and again I'm going to school profile and then I'm school and now you can see the student sequence automatically change right like this starting from the 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 like this so the total 8 student is available that's the reason 8 different records also visible some fields from some fields from the school profile and some fields from the student profile like this way you can add a query based on your requirement right now you can see this is a list view right you can also create a private view or a different view so let me minimize this one so let's say first we will try to create a chart view so for that so this is the graph view and this graph view we can copy and we can pass here let me maximize and I will change the name of the record like dynamic view graph view like this dynamic something like this and here we have to change the specific model name which is this one student school dynamic view Uh, let me remove all extra attributes so here I will use the specific name the field name school name then after we are not using the date field uh, of course we are using here 
the student fee right so student fee and we can add in the measure by default so this is our graph view and you can add this graph view in this mod in the windows action and simple you can try to upgrade the module and here you can refresh the page and now you can see here left hand side two views available this is a list view and this is a graph view so you can see by default you can see the bar chart this is a line chart and this is a pie chart right so those are the different schools here and here in the measures you can see default selected as a student fee you can also add a student sequence as well as the total number of records right so that's up to you like based on the which measures you want to by default select and which view the which bar you want to display by default that is also possible already explained this bar chart so i'm not explaining one more time here so this is the example like the postgres view i mean the dynamic view you can add in the odoo with different views right so right now i will remove this tree view because we don't need a tree view here and we are trying to create one more pivot view here right so for that like let me copy this one and i'm trying to add a small record here like this and i will make sure like i will add here uh, change the id like dynamic view dynamic dot view uh, forward here underscore and simple like we have to remove this one copy this one the model name and paste here now the student fees we have to replace here plus we can display the school name let me delete this that field plus here we can add like let's say student name as a colon wise right all right so once we created the such pivot view right i already explained in a special pivot view discussion with the real test case if you don't know how to create a pivot view please check that discussion also so simple we have to copy this pivot view you can add before the graph or after the graph so let's say i will add after the graph as a pivot so this view we must have to register here otherwise it won't be pop up in the front end side right i will re-upgrade the module i'm going to front end side and trying to refresh the patch now you can see there is a two views available this is the default view graph and this is the pivot view if you click here you can see in the colon level the first one is the student uh, sorry the school profile is display under the school profile you can see student profile is display for iit you can see three student is available for the nalanda university you can see chanakya as a student and for this school you can see these two student profile you can add something like this right to create a simple sweet dynamic view and i'm giving you one more reference you can see the cells right here if you click to reporting on the cells so this is a postgres view here like this right so don't confuse here this is not a model so this, you can see here this is a cell dot report as a postgres view you can also refer this existing feature in odoo itself you can find out in the cells module also right so like this way the dynamic view you can create different types of views like pivot view graph view calendar view list view already 
we had i already explained in our last session and one more thing is let's say you want to change something in the python side i mean in the query side right so here we must have to upgrade the module otherwise it won't be work so it won't be execute the latest query and you can also inherit this one the model also you can change here the query and make sure like when you create a postgres view you must have to assign underscore auto equal to false if you miss this part it means odoo automatically create this table in the postgres end right so this is all about the dynamic view how to create a list view graph view and the pivot view you can also try with different views based on your requirement with such real task cases all right so i hope you understood this feature and in case you have any doubt related to this topic please comment below and see you in next session